Let's talk about the Google Ads optimization score. If you've been working on improving your Google Ads, you've probably seen in underneath the overview, there's this recommendations tab. And it gives you this optimization score here with a bunch of different panels of things you can implement to improve your score. So each of these has a score that will, uh, or a percentage that it will impact your score based on whether or not you apply each of these cards. And each of these are really just a recommendation of things that could be optimized in your account. But you got to be a little bit careful with the optimization score because if you look at what it actually is, your optimization score is an estimate from Google Ads of how well your Google Ads account is set to perform. So it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with how your account is performing. And if you go through and apply all of these different recommendations, that's not necessarily, you know, just because you have a score of 100% on your optimization does not necessarily guarantee that you're going to have any level of success with your ads. And the reason is because Google is just using machine learning to figure out what, what elements or features in Google ads you could be using that you are not using and then it's going to recommend those to you in this recommendations tab up here right and I think this is a good way to look at it is they're really just recommendations they're not necessarily like hey you need to do this you need to create a performance max campaign in order for your account to be fully optimized right in fact in this example we maybe we've tested performance max campaigns and they don't work very well. So we don't really want to even mess around with performance max campaigns. Well, the machine learning algorithms in, in Google ads don't necessarily know what our campaign structure is like. They don't really know how our business works. There's a lot missing. And so if you just come through and start applying all of these recommendations and get your score to 100%, that may actually detract from the results of your Google Ads campaign. Meaning, if you go through and just start applying all of these, you may actually implement something that is not advantageous in your situation. So, you know, you just got to be a little bit careful about what you're applying in here. My recommendation to you would be to take the recommendations as recommendations. <laughs> And if there's something you were thinking about doing, like, you know, maybe let's say you were thinking about setting up site link extensions, but you just haven't had time to get around to it, then you could use this recommendation and go ahead and get that taken care of. But, you know, let's say you've already tried performance max campaigns and they don't work very well. You can actually dismiss all of these if you want, which will bring your score to 100%. So, Let's say we dismiss this one. We're at a 52.4% right now. Boom. It just shot up to a 64.7% optimization score. So you can see that all this score indicates really is the recommendations that you have or have not applied or whether you've dismissed them. So <laughs> don't put too much weight into your optimization score. And if you're working with a company that's helping you optimize your ads, and this is one of the, the key performance indicators that they're tracking and optimizing for, I would ignore it completely <laughs> because if they're telling you like, yeah, your ads are dialed in, we've got your optimization score at 100%, you're exactly where you need to be. Uh, that might not really be a, a, an accurate assessment of what's happening with your Google Ads because your optimization score doesn't necessarily reflect the actual performance of your ads. Again, it's just, is your account set up to perform as best as possible according to what Google Ads sees as <laughs> optimal functioning? <laughs> but again, you'll see stuff in here that like, uh, raising your budget is a common one. Adjust your budgets here. So you'll probably see this one in your account pretty common or pretty frequently. And 
you know, Google Google Ads is, is trying to make money. They want you to increase your budget and spend more on the platform. So, of course, they're constantly going to be recommending that you increase your budget, right? But that might, nece might not necessarily be in alignment with your goals. Like maybe you have too many leads to handle right now already anyways, and you can't even handle more leads. So adjusting your budget and increasing your budget is not necessarily going to benefit you in any way. So I hope you did find this video helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of the Google Ads optimization score or the recommendations or anything of that nature, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comments section down below and I'll be sure to get back to them there.